Hello. Yes, I've picked up Leanna's challenge about being old. And you know what? I'm enjoying being old. There's a bunch of people who didn't get the privilege to be old, including my baby sister. She was not ready to be old. She was not ready to have not done what she thought she really wanted to get done. So she ended her ability to get old. And it still didn't change a thing. Because now she wasn't going to get another chance. Not me. It's like she's going to be 39 forever. Me? Well, I was always the oldest anyway. I'm 65 now. I have grandkids. I get to spoil them. I have come to learn that just because you've gotten older doesn't mean you cease to exist. And I definitely have not ceased to exist. Gotten a bit frailer. That happens. But I'm still up and kicking backside as much as possible. Yes, I put my concealer on first. So that it's not being caked on top, kind of the top surface. That's me. Just because. Man, my lupus is acting up. I got spotses. Now, getting older really is not such a big deal when it comes to a number. But it is a big deal when it comes to what you've experienced what you've learned, what you know. It's like, I've had I decided to go to college at 52. It took me a while took me about 10 years since I was doing a short run of courses. But I made it. I'd been told all my life that I was not good enough for college. And that was my own family saying it. Because none of the rest of them had gone to college. 
they just hadn't. And they figured I was just as unlikely to go as they had been. Liquid glow. Halo. Getting ready to go see my brain care specialist. To those who don't know, that's a psychiatrist. Anybody who's ever read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy knows what a brain care specialist is. Because it's pretty well explained in the book. So yeah, I have some issues with mental health. And until I got older, I resisted doing anything about it because my mom had mental health issues and she spent a lot of time in facilities. I didn't want to do that. So I said to myself, self, if you don't let anybody know that you're having issues, you wouldn't end up like your mom being in facilities. Boy, was I wrong. I've been for short stays in facilities when things got really bad. And I got put on a regimen of medications that made my life so much easier. I could cope. I could do things. I could keep going. And nobody gave me any crap about, you know, my husband didn't say anything about me being a problem because of needing to go to see the brain care specialist. My friends didn't give me any crap about going to need a brain care specialist because Man, there's a bunch of them that needed it too and started getting their help a whole lot sooner than I did. Now I've got my Juvia's Place Culture 2 out. And I'm going to see what I come up with. I have no idea what I'm getting ready to do really don't but this will be fun I've been told at different points over the years that 
being fat was a sign of stupidity. And I beg to differ on that opinion. Being fat can sometimes be because of what you eat and how you eat. Sometimes it's a physiological problem. Sometimes the tendency is inherited. Now see, I'm talking to y'all and I didn't get my eye primer on. You're distracting me. But that's okay. I'll put it on after and then redo that color. Excuse me. Shade. It's not a color, it's a shade. Give this a second to dry it down a little bit. Get set up. Let's go ahead and do my eyebrows. Yes, my eyebrows are uneven. My face is not symmetrical. I've got a divot here from where my baby sister clocked me with a rock and it took a little bone chip out. Wasn't nothing but a thing. We were playing and she was rightly apologetic about it up to a point. We didn't get along all the time. Name me a family that does get along all the time. Siblings fight. Yes, they do. She was three and a half years younger than me. And on my birthday, she used to call me up just to remind me that I'm still older than her. We had that kind of thing going on. And I'd do things like call on her birthday, but she'd call at midnight. And I'm like, can you not? <laughs> I'm getting older. I need my sleep. And she said, you're older than me. And I learned to actually appreciate that she remembered every year she remembered regardless of who else didn't she would be on that phone every year at midnight to remind me that she remembered to remind me I had not been forgotten 
regardless of my age. And I appreciated it. I really did. I appreciated that she would bother to remember that I was getting older. I have learned that I can miss that and not constantly fall apart missing it. I have learned that I can continue it's like both of my parents are gone. I've got one cousin left on each side of the family. That I actually communicate with. I've got actually a few others. But they don't communicate. I don't go chase them down. I have learned that if they can't be bothered, I don't need to chase them down and make them acknowledge me. I don't need that acknowledgement. I have my own system of acknowledgement that has built up from chosen family over years. So I've got friends who acknowledge me for birthdays, for special occasions. I have a husband who acknowledges me. Now, I've had a rough time with some things. I am a survivor of a lot of stuff. But I've also learn to accept that I am strong enough to handle it. I have learned that no one else needs to come rescue me. I need to rescue myself first, otherwise I'm not ready to let go of what's hurting. And people have stood back and said, when she's ready, we're waiting. And I grew from that. Then I became the one who was doing the, when they're ready, I'm right here. I learned how to accept that not everybody is going to be ready to go when you think they ought to be. And that's okay. I have learned that you can be 
supportive without being accusatory. You're there. They know you're there. When they're ready, you will still be there. And when they are ready, then you can sneak in and help them pick up pieces. But not before. If they're not, literally, if they are not ready, they're not ready. I've made plenty of my own mistakes with relationships and job choices and all manner of stuff in that way. Yes, I have a I have an understanding that they are going through something. It's up to them to decide how they want to go through it, when they want to go through it, and when they're ready to let go of it. It's like, I've been through stuff, but that doesn't mean I can choose for someone else. I have also learned that if I want to do something, I can usually do it. The idea of going to college was always part of what I considered to be something I was going to prove myself I could do and prove myself capable of not only completing, but completing well. Got my bachelor's in creative writing. And was a few percentage points from Latin honors. Just a few percentage points. And if anybody doesn't know what Latin honors it's, is, is when they put the cum laudes on. And it really bummed me that I, it was a few percentage points. The other thing that bummed me a little was that even though I qualified by grades for the dean's list, I wasn't eligible to be on the dean's list because I was part-time in my studies. And I'm going, well, foo. Well, that's not exactly how politely I put it, but foo. I 
I learned how to deal with disappointment. Disappointment is not easy to deal with. Disappointment can make some people stop what they're trying to do. You have to use some of the patience that you learn getting older to be able to handle the disappointment and know that if you wait you will still be able to finish what you're doing maybe not with all kinds of fancy honors and stuff but you finished you finished and you did it on your own you did it and you accomplished something that some people including yourself possibly didn't believe you could do It takes courage to try to do that. It really does. Now, let's see what sparkly stuff I'm going to put on. Anybody who tells you at whatever age you are that you can't wear sparkly stuff, if you want to wear sparkly stuff, tell them to step off. Tell them to go harass somebody else. <laughs> it is not worth your time to argue with them. If they persist on wanting to argue, let them have it with both barrels. Tell them to go buy you what they think you should be wearing. It's like, go pick it out. Come back with the receipt. I, I dare you come back with the receipt no I'm not going to pay for it myself I don't want it it's not what I want to wear you think that's what I should be wearing you pay for it It's like I get told I shouldn't be wearing a lot of things. Because I'm fat. I wear two-piece two bathing suits. I find them much more comfortable. And I like the look of them. And yes... If you see me in a two-piece bathing suit, you're going to see the belly. I has a belly. So, you know, if you don't like the way I look, 
in my swimsuit. There are plenty of other places to look. You do not have to take their fashion critique. You do not have to take anybody's fashion critique except your own. If you like it, wear it. If you like and want to wear spangles or fringe or just any old thing that strikes your fancy, go for it. You have lived long enough. You have earned your stripes. Better known as wrinkles and gray hairs. You have earned the right to wear as you please. You have earned the ability to choose for yourself based on everything you have been through. Getting older is not bad. Getting older is fun. There's a lot of things you can do as you get older that you couldn't do when you were younger. Some of them include being able to teach something to somebody else younger that they might need. Or that they just might enjoy. One of the things I like because of being older is I get to teach my grandkids things about cooking and baking and how to sew, how to crochet, how to knit. Because Anybody who crochets and knits will tell you that it takes time and practice. And if you're not going to take your time and practice, you're never going to get good at it. So, I've been practicing for most of my life. So I'd say probably somewhere around, I started at about 15, so, you know, 50 years. I've learned a few things. I started cooking at about the same time. And pretty good cook now. I've gotten more adventurous as I've gotten older. Just a bit more adventurous. Because you don't have to sit back and let everybody else have fun if it's something you want to do. Yeah, you may have some aging physical limitations. I have aging physical limitations, but that doesn't mean I'm going to give up. I've learned too much to 
give up. I've learned that giving up doesn't help. It doesn't change anything. It more sh at most assuredly doesn't change you. Except to make you possibly sadder. I don't give up. I don't like to give up. Because I know I can do this. I know I can get through anything I want to get through. Getting older has given me a chance to realize that I have learned skills that are still valuable. And I can still put them to use. I have learned that the only thing that stops me from doing something I want to do is me. If I'm willing to put in the effort, I can do anything I want. Even if I put in the effort, I'll never be a champion rock climber. My legs don't work so well anymore. And because of a medical condition, I really can't feel my feet. So it would be kind of dangerous to take off up the side of a rock. Okay, what am I going to put in the inner corner? I need something for the inner corner. What am I going to put there? Let's see. Let me find a little brush. Teeny, tiny, tiny little brush. And I want something a little bright. And there's not really anything that light and bright in this, you know, like a white. Let's see what I've got in these. Now this might work. It's kind of a cream color. It's not bright bright, but it's not bad. Okay, it's not going to be a spotlight, but that's okay. I will manage without a spotlight as long as I've got that lighter shade in there. Getting older does not 
mean becoming less. You are becoming more. You are becoming the sum of all of the things you have learned. You are becoming a library for younger people. Your information and experiences it's like I was 11 years old when man first walked on the moon I remember it clearly I remember sitting next to my grandmother who remembered the first car that was ever in the county she lived in in South Carolina and we sat there together and watched the film that was sent back from the moon together so let me tell you generations do not lose their meaning she saw something that I will never see. We saw something together that our children are not going to see except in archive films. We sat together and thought about all the changes humans have been through. She grew up on a farm in the middle of nowhere South Carolina and She was technically a mail order bride. One of my, one of her brothers in the Marines during World War II met this guy in the Marines while they were in Germany and they talked about my grandmother and my grandfather started writing to her while he was on the front lines and or whenever he was back at base and getting patched up. And she wrote back and They started talking a lot, a lot, a lot. And when he got home, 
it was only a week before they got married. Which I think is kind of nifty. Going from a few letters back and forth across the sea to married. And they were happy just as happy as if they had good sex until my grandfather passed away when I was about five. And she never dated or married again. That was it. She was done. But then she started doing more things. Started going more places. Started having a hoot of a time. Okay, the glow has settled down. Doesn't need any powder, which is pleasant. I don't have to poof the powder all over it. Now see, no matter what happens, I've got that reminder of my sister because it just it makes it difficult. Okay. Bronzer palette. Yes. Bronzer palette. Da -da -da. And I don't forget everything I've been through though sometimes I really wish I could there are times when I wish I could forget some of the things I've done and there are other times when I remind myself that if I forget that I have lived and experience some things, I diminish myself. Getting older is an amazing time. It really is. You learn more about yourself every day. You learn about when you remember stuff that you've done, whether it was good for you or not, when you remember it, it reminds you that you have really lived. You have done things. You have accomplished things. In some cases, dumb things. But better than nothing. And you also remember that you have accomplished some miraculous things. You've done things that you wanted to do. Now, me, I'm a writer. I actually have two books out in the out in the wild. One of them I need to relist. But because of the services that I use, I've got digital on in several different providers. 
I've got if you really want solid copies they're on Amazon I've got paperback and hardback now some of you may not like the kind of stuff I write it's mostly fantasy in this case there's elves and a collect elves and a chick that falls through the portal into elf and then there's the collection of short stories and poems I'm still working on doing the next novel in the series that goes along with the elves the short stories and poems will likely have another run at with a whole different set of shorts and poems now the shorts and poems are also not going to be everybody's taste if you like shifter romances you'll love this but like I said I write fantasy and how much more fantasy do you need than people who can shift into animals and the people who get involved with them as a regular old human you now werewolves dragons vampires all of that Yes, I like fantasy. And yes, if you read the books, there is some spicy stuff. Spicy, but not crude in particular. I don't like crude. Crude is bad. Crude is boring. Nobody needs crude. Well, apparently some people need crude, but... Okay, still a little right under the eyes I've got some wonderful stuff that came in an ipsy bag that <sighs> ultimate finished translucent setting powder all it says on the top is M-O-B okay M-O-B 
can see it do your thing. Not too bad. I'm still going to have bags under my eyes that everyone can see. goes with having a face that holds a lot of water apparently. Put what's left on here on the spots that have spots where I put the concealer. Is it perfect? Nah. Is it creased in places? Oh yeah, you betcha. Can you still see most of the wrinkles? Oh yeah, you betcha. I have them. I have wrinkles. I've earned every one. Now you see this one here? And this one here, that's from my CPAP machine that I need to help breathe. See? All the little gray hairs. All the little gray hairs that are taking me back to white hair. Just like I started off with, I was a white-haired, toe-headed baby. It didn't look like I had hair for a good two years. Okay, did my tight line. I suppose it's time for mascara. Now, sometimes I wear half lashes, sometimes I don't. It's one of those. And no, I am not in particular interested in putting on a black liner. along the upper lashes. I did a dark gray under tight line. And the gold water line. I'm trying really, really hard not to poke myself in the eye. Then, where's that other one? Now, I've actually got a brown mascara. That I could use. 
but I'm not feeling like it today. So I've got black on the top, and I'm going to put blue right here on the bottom as a contrast. Now, if I had more lashes, this would show up more. But I don't. I've been using lash serum, and some of them work. Some of them not so much. I'm hoping the current one does me some good. At least in the upper lashes, because the upper lashes are just, yeah. Okay, I know I really should have put the setting spray on before I did the mascara. Yeah, you're allowed to be forgetful at this age. biggest things to remember about not just being this age but in general speak your mind even if your voice shakes thank you Ruth Bader Ginsburg I've actually got that as a bumper sticker on my car Speak your mind even if your voice shakes. Don't let anybody back you down. And yeah, you're allowed to walk away from a conversation that is just ludicrous. You cannot change the mind of a person who was so stuck in their position that they will argue with you. They will argue almost like some lawyers in court. If the facts are against you, argue the law. If the law is against you, argue the facts. Now, if they want to take it as a win when you walk away from somebody who cannot get their head out their backside and take a clean breath, let them. Let them think they won. For all the good it'll do them. I wear glasses. So I'm going to powder through here and hopefully not have my glasses slide down everywhere. Now this this one is a banana powder instead of a little finishing powder. Now all I gotta do is figure out what's going on my big mouth. Let's see. I 
think I think I do really yeah if somebody is literally up in your face trying to tell you how you are wrong and they are not backing up when you give them not only your opinion but facts you're wasting your time you're wasting your breath and it's not worth it walk away let them think whatever they want to think you're not going to change their mind there comes a time where you need to just look at them and go yeah yeah whatever And tell them you ain't got any more time for this noise. Like I said, if they think they won, I don't know what they think they won, but you know it's not going to change your opinion. It's not going to change your facts. It's not going to change anything except taking a break from the crazy. Oh man, I did it again. I forgot to turn on my ring light. How are you supposed to see all the pretty colors without the extra light? Is that better? It's like, yep, putting on a bold lip. Because I do that kind of thing. If you like a bold lip with a bold shadow, Go for it. You've earned the right to decide for yourself. Getting older can be magical. It can be amazing. It can be sad. And it can be gloriously happy. hope you get to hang around long enough to get a few wrinkles of your own. Every one of them is proof of an experience. There goes my dog. Dog, dog, dog. Anyway, behave. There is still no bail money. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Bye. All right, where'd that